All right, we're back with some more torchlight. So I have got some things. So I got a mod that actually removes identification because I'm lazy. So now all, Id all items are just automatically identified. I think I also got rid of all white items too. I man, I don't know. I'm I'm speed moding this game because I can. For a second, I thought all of my like Skelebros had like blue booties on them, and I got confused and kind of excited. Okay, so I've got I've got my my dudes. What am I missing? I'm missing my golem. I'm not sure how I lost my golem, but that's okay. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else? Not overwhelmingly. Let's go do something silly. Uh, let's see. Enchanting man. Take my staff. Enchant it again. Enchant it again. How much does it cost? Enchant price is pretty expensive. Oh, well. Uh, let's see. It doesn't really seem like it's worth enchanting right now. Maybe once I had some more, like, permanent things, but not right now. I wish I could fight like you, partner. I could keep all these profits for myself. Oh, those monsters would tear me to pieces, so it's no good dreaming. Let's get some more treasure. The tome says a forgotten piece of the mountain ho holds a jeweled idol. Open the portal and you can grab the loot. Whee! Yeah, I realize the multiple mods and the build I'm running more or less has completely trivialized this game. Um... And I'm kind of curious about trying this again in, uh, like, Path of Exile, for example. Because I know in Path of Exile, you know, there's kind of that greater feeling, Oh, I've still got these. Right, because my Skeleton Archers are actually number three. Got it. Uh, but, like, I've never felt, like, terribly challenged in Path of Exile. I'll have to... I'll have to see. I, I'm curious how it handles minion mastery and whether or not minion mastery is just this like giant broken nonsense or not. I guess we'll just kind of find out along the way. It's not a big deal. I, I'll just load it up. I I should probably also. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna go with a minion master build for Torchlight Two. That's the one consideration. As much as I'd like to. Um, I realize minion mastery is kind of unfriendly to here. Oh no, it's not getting past. Is it? I'm just gonna try and clog the bridge with as many bridges are are the anti minion master. Uh, can I summon my ultimate archers out here? Cool. Oh minions, I need you. There's stuff in my way. Okay, let's summon some more imps. I'm not actually sure if we need more, but still. Okay, uh... But yeah, minion mastery is kind of rough for most of these games. It kind of renders them boring. But I might actually have to play a different character just because. Bit of a shame, but like, I didn't... I mean, honestly, minion mastery, I think, is more fun solo anyway. Maybe? I don't know. Someday I want to convince somebody to play one of these games with me where we both or we all run like pure minion master builds. And it's just like... It's just goofy. Like there's no... We don't even do anything. We just watch the horde just descend. And I have no idea which, which game it would be. I've, someday. That's all. That's all I know. Someday I want to want to have it happen. It's just like the biggest goof. I know. Well, I mean, realistically, I'm sure if I did uh, Path of Exile, I could probably just get fans involved and just be like, okay, I'm gonna solo my way through the game till end game. But uh, if you guys want to meet me at the end game with just like big old uh, big old hordes of monsters, we can we can try and like group content our, our way through with so many skeletons that it's actually meaningless. I'm sure it's been done before. But, I don't know. It'd still be fun to do it on my end. <laughs> I was trying to get Shell to play a, a Necromancer when we did uh, Diablo 3 together, but she wanted to play somebody a little bit more badass, which I think is entirely valid, but I was, I was mildly disappointed just because more minions. Maybe, maybe if we ever play Diablo 2 together, uh, she can go Druid. Oh, but the Druid is a man. And that sucks. Okay. So what is this? Defense Potion. Right, I got the mod for that. I'm just gonna get rid of anything I can't immediately use. Defense. 
No. Cast your cast. Really that much better. We do have shields, but I can't I can't use them anyway. Yeah, okay, these quality of life changes are kinda nice. Obviously they break the scale of the game a lot, maybe. I don't know. But I'm just kind of doing things because I can. Because, like, this truly is probably the only time I've ever going to play Torchlight 1, period. I like the game, I like it a lot. Uh, but there's a very real possibility. Well, not no, no. If, Purpo if Perfect World owns Torchlight 1, chances are we'll never see like a remaster of any variety. Not that it immediately needs it, but you know, bugs and performance issues and whatever are probably going to get worse the further we go. It's held up incredibly well. Like, you know, there's some there's some like ten year old games that really just don't function. Uh, or function really poorly. Uh, let's see, what was it? Dead Space. I was playing Dead Space 1, and there were a number of, like, very specific port-related and, like, frame rate things that just straight up were non-functional. It's not so bad in, in, like, this one. I'm not noticing it. I, part of it is it is a smaller project, and it was probably built kind of with that in mind. But, I don't know. So cool to me. Let's see, anything I can grab while I'm here. My minions pretty much are gonna handle every fight for me. But I just have to be in the immediate area. Let them go. We guys, my minions. Kill my foes. I think I need some more nether amps. It's really hard to tell if I've actually run out of nether imps or not. My pet is actually dying. I should I should look into that. I, I know there's uh I know there's ways that you can actually transmit your pet pets into other things. I know there's fish that do it temporarily, but maybe there's fish that do it permanently too. Cause I, I will admit, I'm I was kind of expecting my, my doggo to be a little bit more durable. I guess I haven't given it enough rings. Rangs. So maybe I should probably fuss with its equipment a little bit more. It's holding up well enough. It might also be one of those where we are under leveled? No, we're not under leveled. Okay. Defense. So no. Which was it? Those are goggles. It won't do. I was really hoping I could actually, uh... Wow. We might actually be getting a lot of those stat potions. Eh. I'd say so be it, but... Uh, I don't know. Okay, so we got plus 24 health. I should probably mess with those a little bit more. Is my inventory full already? Damn. Magic up. And I might have to get rid of those, <laughs> depending. Oh, we're up to uh, giant health potions at this point, so we can get rid of the, those potions as well. I might also just teach my uh, my doggo healing spells. Because that might not be a bad idea. Okay, so what do we got? Oh! We're up to the next level. Anything else? Dual wielding. Damage of all weapons when dual wielding. Might not be a bad idea eventually, but I don't know if I care right now. I mean, honestly, Pet Mastery is probably my my favorite. We do also have Ember Lance. Now, 75%, oh, that's probably 75% of my magic damage. Pricey, though. It would give me something to do. Let's see. Oh! Reduces level requirements of all spells and improves mana recharge rate. Neat. I should probably look up which is better. 
Ember Ray versus or Ember Lance versus Ember Lightning. Cause I maybe I should put a couple of points into spells. Ember Lightning or Ember Lance. So I'm just gonna look it up so I'm not well, I guess we do have the respec potion, so it's actually not a big deal. So there's something about Ember Lightning not actually scaling based off of your weapon damage. That's an interesting problem. I mean, I could always just save up for Ember Strike. Because, yeah, Pyre, Pyre is a flat damage. Ember Land scales maybe off your magic stat, but not. Uh... I should probably go take a look and see if I can uh, get the Ember Lightning Fix patch. If it hasn't been fixed already. Uh, let's go Lightning. It'll give me something to do. Honestly, I could also just get both. But more Pet Mastery, always. Let's go find some people to Palpatine. Okay. I'm digging it. I'll have to I'll have to put a point into Lance. I probably should have put a point into Lance. And yeah, I've got enough mana regen that I'm not in a big It's not a big deal. Okay, so I can I can actually help now. I'm just going to sit around just uh lightning rail gunning things. Cuz yeah, the poison the poison wasn't really effective. Or at least it wasn't nearly as, as good as I was hoping it was going to be. Uh, but I guess it kind of makes sense. I don't know. I, I like spells that kind of scale with weapons. Uh, or like level or whatnot. Uh, I don't know how many of you guys play Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition. One of the, uh, the biggest changes that they did was they changed it so cantrips actually are useful later. I wouldn't exactly say that they're not useful. But, like, back in the day, back in the day, cantrips did, like, one die three damage. And you're like, why do I even have this thing? What's the point? And so, you know, they've they've changed it now. So, a cantrip scales by level. And it actually ends up being fairly scalable. I don't think it's much, as much damage as what you can do with, like, a, a good, like, melee hit. If you know what you're doing. Uh, but it's a good counterpoint to, like, you're out of spells, or you're just fighting something weak, and you don't really want to waste a fireball on it. I don't know. I, this is part of the reason why I liked uh, 3.5's Warlock a lot. Because it was just like, oh, you want to... You want to just, uh... Oh, shoot, Eldritch Blast things to death repeatedly. Yeah, be my guest. There are no limitations. That felt really good. I, uh... I did have a DM once that, uh, didn't believe that you could use... Eldritch Blast as much as you wanted, and said uh, I could only use it once per day. I, uh, didn't stay in that campaign. I left pretty much as soon as he said that. I was just like, oh, if that's how you're interpreting things, I am just leaving. I can't carry anymore. Because, like, El Eldritch Blast straight up says, like, at will, and he's like, nope. Okay. I'm overburdened. Your Dago is full up. I thought I turned off white item drops. Hmm. Guess not. Alright. At least we don't have, like... <laughs> that is immediate. I guess we've got enough in minion mastery that the pet just... Doesn't, uh, doesn't take long to go at all. Well, that's nice. And the other thing we could do, if I wanted to be really lazy... I, you know, we could do it. I could actually go respec entirely and just see if I could become 
Uh, instead of the minion master, I could just become uh, Captain Palpatine and just see what happens. Because I like my minion army, but they're they're not. I'm not going to say they're not durable, but yeah, considering we have respec potions as like an available thing, maybe I should. Mmm. It's got tempting. It's got very tempting. I, I'll have to go get... Next time we go back to town. Because we're going to have to go to town at some point. Let's see. Is that better? Nope. 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 Man, that's going to make decision-making processes easier. I wonder if the... Uh, I wonder if the chain lightning actually chains further. Probably not. I, maybe I'll probably uh, download Torchlight 2 and actually do a little bit of class research uh, before we before we do like a multiplayer series. Because I usually play melee characters in these games, but I'm realizing maybe going spells might be more fun. I don't know. If if it scales based off of your equipment, that kind of offsets things nicely. Uh, let's see, I should probably summon my imps. I don't know how many imps I have. I don't know how many of my things have died. It seems like... It seems like I lost a couple. Or they got stuck. Both are entirely possible. Yeah, I wonder... I wonder if I can, uh... Daisy Chain, yet more Ember Lightning for even more ridiculous damage. And, like, group clearing. Either that or we have to wait for Ember Strike. Go for, like, a, a really hefty, uh... I bet I could go for, like, a really hefty cast speed Lightning Railgun build. Maybe? I, hmm... There's infinite possibilities, and I, I know none of them. It would be kind of fun to mess around with it. Okay. I'm just going to be here. And one of my problems with mini mastery I'm looking at is just purely... I have to wait for a lot of them to get here. And I think in most other games, mini mastery is, isn't so bad. They stick with you really, really well. But, like, the zombies are slow and the skeletons are just slow... Hmm. I don't know. Oh, this was just a uh, right. I forgot this was just random, random dungeon. This isn't even progress. Well, that's fine. Let's go back to town. We got the thing. You have the jeweled idol already. You're as fast as an arrow and twice as deadly. I better pray, uh, pay prompt and stay on your good side, eh, partner? Looking at this book, I don't know how the mountain even holds together, and seems to be completely filled with disconnected labyrinths and caves. Well, more treasure for us, I suppose. For example, there's this tentacle statue in a chamber, completely cut off from the rest of the tunnels. Open a portal, and if you can find it, I'll share the wealth. Okay, so he gave us a thing. He gave us Quasar's Favor, which is ridiculously good, but not for me. Actually, no, it's ridiculously good for me, which is dumb. Uh, what about this helmet? It's okay. It doesn't really help me that much, though. Uh, let's go up here. Okay. Let's offload everything. And then do we go stupid? It's tempting. Oh. Extra electric damage. Extra magic bonus. Yes? Okay, so she also sells... Huh. She sells the bigger gems, too. Oh, right, I got a mod that actually changes it, so it's more obvious. Which is which. Well, that's actually really nice. So, they're a little expensive, though. But yeah, if I wanted to, I could go kind of nuts with things. 
Oh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I was gonna get a mod right. I was gonna get a mod and see if I can fix the Ember Lightning. And then we're gonna respec and see if I can go full pal Palpatine for a little while and see how that goes. All right, we're back. I've fixed some things. I've messed with some things. So we want the skill respec potion. All right, let's try this. So I've respec all my skills. Uh, I'll have to maybe get rid of some of these guys. What? Why not? Huh. Okay. okay, so the bees just don't count. Interesting. Well, that's fair. So, Ember Lightning. So, I've got a new mod that makes it so these things scale based off different stats. I don't know about Ember Lance, but Ember Lightning goes up by weapon scale slowly. Wow, I can apparently put a bunch of points into that. Alright. Uh, looks like the scaling is all good. Let's see. Yeah, so Ember Bolt has has some proper scaling too. I'll, I'll have to look at these things. And spells crit. That's an interesting question. Well, we probably want to do magic weapon expertise, maybe? I could also go full on adventure for the extra EXP and fame gain. Might not be a bad idea. What else do we have? Attack spell levels? No. Lore. I don't care about these as much as I used to. In battle. What do we have? Martial weapons, no. Ember shields is defense. Infuse. Interesting. Infuse might actually be really good later on. Okay, so we're going to go magic weapon expertise. I apparently don't have that many points to invest. Well, win in Rome? Otherwise, we could try crits, but no. Win in Rome, and then I'm not dual wielding right now. I should be. But we gotta find proper equipment. Oh, now, this is the potion guy. This is not the guy. Um, one of you guys makes weapons, yeah? She does. But it's none of the good ones. There's a couple of mods for, like, crafting systems in these games, but... I don't know how much I care. That's the cartographer. Trinket dealer. Enchants items. Who's the person that sells magic weapons? Do they just not exist? Because this guy sells devastator weapons. Fletcher and Gunsman. Hmm. Nope. Uh, because it's not the fishmonger. We've also got the gambler. Well, we could try and pick up a pair of these. A pair of wands? I don't know if it's a good idea, though. Hey, friend. You feeling a little lucky? It doesn't seem like it's worth it, unfortunately. So dual wielding, let's, let's leave dual wielding out. Let's go crits. It's only per some amount of percent crit chance. I don't even know if it works, uh, but still, okay. And I'm not going to bother unlearning all of my spells. I'll just stop summoning them. Uh, I guess let's go give this a shot. This should be really goofy. <laughs> I hope. Okay, so where are we going? We're going through this guy's portal. So, okay, so we're here. My one problem is my cast speed is kind of garbage. What I might want to do, honestly, the well, the damage is nice. It doesn't have the AoE that I'm looking for. Yeah, okay. So looking at it now, the, the minions are kind of fun. 
at tanking things for me. It also looks like, yeah, I can't actually just... Maybe I, maybe I should actually respec again and we should give uh, the Ember Lance a go. Because my, my magic stat's pretty damn good. Main problem is just, like, the uh, the time it takes to actually use any of these spells is kind of slow. I'm sure if I had, like, a really high cast speed, it wouldn't be as big of a deal. But yeah, right now, I should probably be investing most of my points more into into summoning just to keep the enemies off of me. And then just use Ember Lightning as, as was originally planned. Yeah. Because I do a chunk of damage. But it's it's not nearly as much as as my minions were doing. Alright. Well, there's an answer. Also, holy crap, potions. I will keep uh well, no, actually I I should I should give Ember Lance a go just to see how that works. Because I, I bet Emberlands might actually be more useful for me, uh, at least right now. So why don't we go back to town for a second and respec. Oh, I apparently can't work back as I currently am. Also, we're going, we're getting a boatload of these stat potions, maybe too many. I'm not sure if I should be too buggered by this. I, it does offset the fact that I'm barely even touching equipment. Yeah, so it's not letting me cast, uh, summon my imps anymore. Potions. These strength potions? Yay, my strength will be high for some reason. I don't know if I'm going to be able to use that for much, but yeah, it's fine. Okay, character. Go all in on magic, put one more in crit. Yeah, I'll definitely give uh, Ember Array a go next. I, the lightning seems great. It's just, you know, there's enough enemies around that I need, like, full AoE. Maybe maybe that uh, that move at the end is actually worthwhile. Then again, I'm going to be very wishy-washy on these things. I can be very wishy-washy when I want to be, and I am wishy-washy wishy today. <sighs> I can also be improperly... Uh... Let's see, what, what would I call it? Too decisive, I think. Is it de decisive? Yeah, because, yeah, it's, it's, it's... I was getting decisive and, and divisive mixed up. Holy crap, I almost, like, don't need to level up anymore. <laughs> uh, I almost kind of wish you could just get, like, random uh, skill point potions occasionally. That's more my thing, but I, I don't know. I shouldn't be begging for more broken, broken nonsense. I might have to turn this mod off, or just start throwing the potions in a box, and then at some point... Yeah, you know, I might just start throwing the potions in a box, and then uh, at the very end of the game just, like, guzzle them all and see how goofy, ridiculous I become. Because, yeah, it was supposed to be, like, a really small chance of, uh, dropping these stat potions, but, uh, that is hardly small. Hello, Lectern. Ooh, Summon Zombies 3. That's appreciated. Oh, hey. Good thing I checked. Yeah, so, fun fact, you can't actually town portal out of here. But something I'm, like, too worried about. I will give it credit. It is satisfying. <laughs> I just don't think I need to go full, full damage on this. There we go. It is amusing how all of my old minions are still affected by my, by my old modifiers. So effectively, if you wanted to cheese it, you could actually, like, respec in the middle of this and actually have some pretty effective, uh, party members.
Uh, let's see. As a lot of stat potions. I guess the other thing is I could I could just guzzle all of all of the stat potions and just say like, eh, whatever. I don't know. We'll see. Because for the most part, I'm just cakewalking through this game to begin with. I, yeah, let's not. Well, hmm. I'm gonna guzzle the uh, the strength potions. I think the strength and dexterity. See if we can do some some like weird builds with all those extra stat points. Maybe. Oh, I don't know. We. Oh right, there's a there's a web spell I should get my hands on. I was reading about how the web spell is kind of amazing later on because it's it's one of the only things whose effect isn't affected by like stats at all. Yeah, that that is that my is too many potions. My inventory is full. Oh, Dago's full. Your pet has departed. How long? Two minutes. Oh, I can't carry anymore. Good. Drop, regular. I should have fixed up the mod so I could, uh, I didn't have to worry about this. Okay, so we have scum summon skeleton four now. I guess. Yep. And summon zombies three. Now, does it say even more vicious poison attacks? Oh. Okay. Zombie, zombies. They are bigger, I think. It looks like they're bigger. I'm gonna, I'm going to imagine that they're bigger. And we'll just go from that. If the lightning arced more, or if the bosses had less HP, I think, uh, I think this plan would have worked flawlessly. But things aren't that weak. Now, this would be something I would do in uh, multiplayer, is just go full-on glass cannon spell blaster mode. That's what we can do next time. I can just I can just be the guy that uh, pumps all of his stat points into magic and, like, a smidge of defense. I don't remember how uh, Torchlight 1 scales stats and difficulty and stuff. I'll... I wonder if there's a, uh, a skill tree that I could look at. I bet, I bet there's a, uh, there's a, a build website that I can check out. Pat's back. Thank you, Pat. I kind of need you, even if you're significantly more crap than, uh, and before I nerfed myself, well, it's fine. Lightning. I will keep a attack spell, because my previous attack spell was just not interesting enough. What's my regular magic damage? It is very high. I, I almost wonder if it'd be better for me to just run around just attacking things regularly. and not bother with anything like Ember Lance. It's possible that that might actually do, like, more damage. Which is a little goofy. At least, I, at least I'm actually doing something, finally. I don't know, there, there's some amount of guilt of just being like, well, I am just, like, pure minion master, which might not be super compelling for most people. Mm -hmm. Okay. Die. I do like chain lightning. It's fun. Okay, we found the tentacle. Not a moment too soon. My inventory is filling up again. And then next next time I stop the game, I'll, I'll see if I can get a different mod that makes it so white items don't drop. Because I know in uh, Path of Exile, there's item filters and stuff that you can use. My one fear is that, uh, you know, I, I get, uh, I get the, like, no white items drop, and it's just replaced with everything else instead, which, like, might be too powerful. 
they, I know there's a couple of mods that make it so uh, enemies always just drop like green or orange or purple items. And it's just like, uh, that might be too much. <laughs> it'd be funny, but it'd be too much. The tentacle statue was right where the books said, wasn't it? Whoever wrote this thing was a real oracle. Here's your share. All right, so we level up. Let's, uh, let's go respec. Okay, so first and foremost, max this out, put a point in that. Uh, let's see. Extra charm spell mastery would be nice. We want... Oh, we can even get up here. Let's get one in Ember Lance. Barter decreases vendor prices. Minions are enraged. Okay, so let's get rid of bees. For enrage. It's not too expensive. Okay, what else do we do? I'll put do I put one into Amber Lightning? Put one into Ember Lightning just in case. What else do we have? Teleportation, Block and Ferry. I guess I could also just start upgrading my Golem, but let's do Charm Spell Mastery. I think that's gonna help more. Okay. So that should work out. Put a little bit into defense. You. You have. We have heal self. Heal all two. I'm gonna grab that. What else do we have? Summon skeleton four. I think I've already got skeleton four, archers three, zombies three. Supposedly there's something about a burning skeleton or a. a yeah, I don't see it. Okay. We're going to get rid of... Nope. I got rid of both of its spells. Well, that's fine. Let's give it Summon Zombies 3. And heal all. It's not great, but I figure if the dog can actually heal itself, that'll make things a little better. I don't know. Okay, let's... Try Ember Lance for a little while. I can always switch it out as ne as needed. So we don't need that. We don't need that. I'm just gonna start putting away the potions. We do also have a mysterious map scroll. I think I'm just gonna leave it alone. Let let's do some progress. Because my main goal here truly is just to beat the game. <laughs> 